would like him to come out a little bit more than that, but that's one of the adult Sendontas. I think that's one of the males. Very shy little bugger today. They have very good eyesight though. Hey, I think I got him swimming out and turning around. That's good. Because I'm having a little difficulty identifying them properly. They are successfully reproducing in a tank without any cichlids in it. I used to uh, believe that these catfish could only reproduce when they were kept uh, with cichlids where they could uh, lay their eggs uh, in conjunction with the cichlids, mouth breeding cichlids spawning and uh, they, uh, oh my goodness, um, and now I've found that they reproduce more successfully when there aren't any cichlids. They uh, sort of like a species tank with lots of uh, hiding places and uh, good, uh, you know, just to be left alone and to be secretive is uh, their biggest desire. Let's see if I can get another picture of this one in the corner. This is a triangular shaped uh, aquarium that I built back in the 1970s. It has half inch plate glass in the front and glass uh, back and uh, bottom. It's had numerous cracks over the years and uh, I uh, tried reinforcing it with angle iron and plywood and uh, two by four construction underneath to uh, keep it uh, in storage here. Got some coral from Hawaii that I haven't used. A good storage area and uh, the two by four construction sort of supports the front of the aquarium to some extent. I use an under gravel uh, system on my aquariums extensively. Um, I believe that under gravel filters are underrated. They are the uh, basically the method that I uh, use for uh, Oh, I'm going to take a picture of my most deformed angelfish. This angelfish here is uh, two years old and it's just as old as its siblings in the same tank. These are some that I raised from eggs and uh, they're beautiful angelfish. Uh, that one up here is a female and the lower one is a female. One of the big males is down at the far end there. Then I have uh, another aquarium over here with uh, some more angelfish. I try to spread them out just a little bit. This is one of my more beautiful angelfish. Let's uh, see if I can get it without any glare on the uh, on the window, on the uh, front glass. And that deformed one, that is such a deformed fish. Just amazing. I don't know if you can see how the tail is off to the right hand side and its uh, caudal fins are just awful. Anyway, that's uh, what's happening there. And then up here on the top, I custom built this stand. Uh, these are my ball of sharks and uh, I've got a, some cute little uh, catfish over here. They're pretty shy. They're coming out though. They think they're going to get some carp eggs too. Well, I hope to maybe get some of this onto YouTube. Pictus catfish. They're just babies right now. They're about four inches long. But they're doing really well. Oh, there's an electric catfish over here. I'll take a picture of her. I've had her for about two years now. So far she's never shocked me, but uh, she's uh, quite a beast. I've taken a piece of uh, 
PVC uh, four inch pipe and cut it in half and have it set up in the aquarium so that uh, she can have a place that she feels relatively secure hiding in. She's doing fine. I keep her with uh, two uh, Pacostomus, albino and sistrus Pacostomus. Here's one of them over on the sand here trying to get a little bite to eat. And she's thinking, oh I'm going to get fed and so she's coming out. She's wiggling her tail a little bit to come swim out and see if I don't give her a big old gob of carp eggs to eat. Doesn't look like she's very hungry though, does it? She's a fatty. Oh yeah. Go from one hiding place to the other. Going to swim out there and check out. Oh, there's also some cherry shrimp living in this aquarium. They uh, seem to do just fine with the uh, electric catfish. I've had them in here for months and months. Let's see what else we have? A chocolate pacostomus down here. He's pretty old. I've got him and he must have been three or four years old from a friend at work and now I've had him for probably eight years now and he's doing pretty pretty good. This is another stand that I built. Uh, it's a sort of a double decker stand. The uh, fluorescent light <laughs> covers up the, the top of the aquarium and over here in the kitchen well, could show you my clown loaches, but they're all thinking, oh, I don't know if he's going to feed me or not. He's just looking out. There's five of them in this aquarium. And then, of course, uh, oh, here's another one peeking out. They're tail, tail first here. That's normal positioning for them. This is my big old Sindontus here. Don't know if he's showing up very good on the. No, nope. I think I got too many reflections. But he's uh, about 15 years old. I got him when he was just a couple inches long, and he's pretty much uh, full grown now. He's oh, probably seven or eight inches long. And got a little. Uh, white spotted Dora did uh, Raphael catfish in here he's my very oldest fish that I have now I think he must be right at 20 years old he just likes to hang out gets a little bit of the food when the uh, clown loaches let it drop down to the bottom of the aquarium and over here in the kitchen I have a two more 50 gallon aquariums um, <laughs> hungry angelfish down in the lower one there and up in the upper one I have a uh, koi mm -hmm. these are little uh, koi that I raised from eggs two years ago I had them breed uh, the parents of these breed outside and these are a few I brought into the house last fall um, and uh, they're doing really good I really enjoy them they're uh, really uh, friendly fish and always seems like they're hungry and right now they're just sort of going to a feeding frenzy they're sort of like the feed me Seymour this is the big one uh, pretty nice looking fish and what they lack in nice they certainly li uh, don't lack in being friendly and uh, if I open the lid they just think oh feed me feed me so I'm going to maybe try to do that. I'll just set the camera here. I think it's going to be pretty dry. Get some food out of my container. Now, these are just some pelleted food. I'll put the camera back up. And, uh, okay. Put it in like that. And a little bit of a feeding frenzy, if I can get them in focus again. They act like I haven't fed them today, but I already have fed them. It's uh, still early in the day. I have two uh, albino ancestors Placostomus in here. That's the female there. They uh, 
and I've warmed the water up. It's about 76, 78 degrees, so that's a little bit too warm for koi and a little bit on the cool side for Ancestrus of uh, Pocostomus, but uh, they, uh, they're they doing pretty good in here. Oh, the male is hiding out. <laughs> the water is really murky. Oh, looks like I'm storing data.